Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All info, no fluff. So today I want to show you my Insta D-Click custom action. But before we can get to that, I gotta give you a little bit of backstory. So sorry about that. You can always skip to that chapter down there, but if you got lost, then you'll have to come back and watch this from the beginning. In the last tutorial, I showed you the resources window, which you can access by going to extensions and then coming down to resources and it'll open this window. And then in this window, there are some tabs. Last week we looked at images and today let's go back to the top and look at effects chains. As you obviously know, I can always right click on any track and load effects chains from here. I can also click on it and then right click and load effects chain from here. And the same thing applies to items too. If you have these item track controls showing, then I can always right click on them. So why put them in resources? Well, when you put them in resources, then you get some extra commands and you can use these commands to more quickly access certain effects chains. So as you can see, I have commands for paste replacing effects chain on selected items and I can tie hotkeys to them or use them in custom actions. A few things that I have on here, for example, if I want to add a text or an image to a video, all I gotta do is right click and I have them in my menu right here. So I can, for example, add an image. Again, there's another thing called insert effects and then I have insert effects video processor, which I can also run as an action. The problem with that is that navigating to different presets is a little bit difficult using commands because all you got is commands for going to next or previous effects preset. And if you're going for your 12th effects preset. That's a little bit of a complicated way of doing it. So let me quickly show you how to add commands to this. It works the same way as image tab. So if you watched the last episode, you're good, but you go right click add slot. And then in the empty slot, you can go load slot file. And then I can bring in anything I want. You can also auto fill them. And with auto fill, you set a directory, for example, your effects chains. Once I go auto fill, it will put in all my effects chains here. If you're just starting to set this up, this could save you a few steps. That said, I don't want all my effects chains here because most of my effects chains I'm happy accessing every once in a while through the appropriate menus but for example with the text or video or the d-click I like having them here so let me show you how my d-click action works so if you do any kind of dialogue editing, you know that there's a lot of clicking in production audio. And without getting too deep into why clicks happen and how they happen and how to fix them and how to hear them, because I will cover all of those in my sound editing for visual media series. And let's just look at one dialogue line that I imported from one of my old projects. And you can hear a few clicks in there. So let's listen to it. No, I kept waking out of some shitty dream. No, I kept waking out of some shitty dream. You can see that there's a bunch of clicks in it. And if you didn't hear it, let's scrub to one of these and you can probably hear it better that way. So right after dream, there's a click. You can hear it go tick, 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 tick. It's like a ticky sound. And if I zoom in on my waveform, it's right around here. And there it is, there's our click. So if I want to de-click this the normal way, make a time selection, I would split this. I would then go to my effects browser. I use isotope de-click. So then I would put that here. This is my default preset. And I can glue it because this module is not really designed to work on playback. It's designed to work in like Pro Tools audio suite. And now if I play- Shitty dream, shitty dream. You can see that that click is gone. Let's check it out one more time in scrub. So that's awesome. However, that was a lot of steps, right? So let me show you how I like to do it. Again, I'm scrubbing through my dialogue. There's the click. So I like to go alt and then right drag and alt and right drag creates a time selection as well as selecting the item. Then I run my hotkey and boom, it's de-click. Let's hear it. Some shitty dream. It's gone. So let me show you my custom action now. Quick de-click and I have it set to command shift control and C. And again, it utilizes the resources commands. Split selected items at time selection. Paste effects chain on selected item slot three. On my slot three, I have my de-click, which I just saved as an effects chain and then it just glues the item. So as I'm scrubbing through audio, I can very quickly run this action. There's a bunch of clicks here. So again, splap, run it, done. I kept waking out of some shitty dream. So that's a quick way of de-clicking. Really useful once you get to use resources, you can see that a lot of the things that you do that are time consuming, you can do with this. So, you know, if you have, for example, any kind of high pass filter that you apply to a lot of items or a lot of tracks, you can save as an effects chain and then whatever item that needs it, you can quickly add it. Same thing for denoiser with reoffer or any kind of third party you have. And I'm sure there are other uses for it that other people have that I haven't discovered. So put in the comments, what do you use the resources 
four. Other than the commands, you can also dock this window. And then there's a few things you can do by double clicking these. So if I double click on any of these effects chains, this is the behavior that they do. For me, it's paste the selected items. You can also paste the tracks. You can paste as input effects on selected tracks. And you can also paste the selected items or paste the selected items all takes. Right now I have paste the selected items. So if I select this item and go double click, there it is. So again, the uses for resources window are as many as there are Reaper users. I know when I make videos like these, there's always a person who goes, oh, well, why do we do all of this when we can just do this? Well, I just showed you. And you know, the whole point of Reaper is not to tell people what to do, is to let people do whatever the fuck they want. This was my job to show you these things and hopefully you'll find a use for it and put your creative uses of it down in the comments. Also, if you like the content I do, please donate to me. I was really happy that last week during the live stream, I got my first donor. Thank you to EJV for donating five bucks to me. I really appreciate it. It helps keep me afloat. Congratulations to me for hitting a thousand subscribers. Still haven't hit the watch time amount and that's because I do quick tutorials. And it kind of feels like YouTube is incentivizing wasting your time because the longer my videos are, the longer watch times I get, like I'm doing right now, saying things for no reason that are of no use to you, right? So that's on YouTube, but you know, we'll get there eventually. Thank you to my 1000 subscribers. We'll have a little special at maybe 1111 subscribers, something like that. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Have a good weekend and I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.